Hello, everyone. I would like to welcome you to topic two, Math 144. First of all, a word of congratulations. Congrats to you guys. You made it through topic one, week one, and we are on to topic two, week two. This week, we are going to cover conversions and financial literacy. And we have a couple of different assignments this week that deal with budgeting. So this is taken from our course syllabus. As you know from topic one, week one, our course syllabus outlines for us everything we need to complete in this week. So once again, our topic this week is conversions and financial literacy, which we also have an assignment or two that deals with budgeting. So here are the objectives we are going to solve some application problems involving percent. We're gonna be converting units using a dimensional analysis. We are be going to be converting fractions, decimals, and percents. So we need to be able to convert from any one of those to any one of those. And then we're gonna use our budgeting skills to help develop financial literacy. And I will talk more about that in a, in a couple of assignments that we have coming up here. So as with last week, we are going to be doing some assignments in Alex. The assignments that we are going to be doing in Alex are the basics. Once again, that's 15% of your knowledge check, your initial knowledge check. We have the topic two homework. So those assignments will be completed in Alex. And we have the review, which is just like you had in topic one, a mini quiz. So those three assignments are exactly the same as we had last week. Now you're going to see a new assignment right here. So I'm going to talk about this for just a moment. Okay. You see here in the screen, we have major assignment one. Okay. Now major assignment one is an Excel template. Okay, everybody. So this is an Excel assignment. You will find this Excel template in your task. Okay, so on that Excel template, you have four tabs. Okay, so four tabs. So this is at the bottom of your Excel sheet. You'll have a grading sheet. That's your first tab that shows you simply how it will be graded and essentially your rubric for that. Then the other three tabs at the bottom of that are for you to complete for your assignment, okay? Look for the resources to complete this. You have some resources, including PowerPoint. You may have a video or other things that go along with it to help you. It kind of depends upon the resources you have for your class directly. But do know that this is a 100 point, 100 point assignment. So it's worth quite a bit of points. You want to start early on this week, on this assignment this week. Don't wait until Sunday evening and decide you want to do this, okay? Jump right into it as quickly as possible. Also, we have the topic 2DQ1, just like we had last week. 2DQs, the first discussion question is dealing with percents and decimals converting from one to another. Uh, the second discussion question this week is dealing with a budget. So this, remember I said we had some financial budgeting. This is where this is first of all picked up, all right? So the topic two, DQ2. And the information in this DQ is going to be your personal information, okay? So let's just make a note to self here, right? Note to self here. This is personal information, all right, that is in your budget, okay? If you don't have a budget, you can now think about your finances that would go into this particular DQ. Also note that this DQ carries right over into major assignment one, okay? So this DQ carries information directly back up into the major assignment one that we had, okay? 
So keep those things in mind, use one to help you with the other. Okay, other than that this week, what else do we have? We have the weekly participation. As you know, you need six substantive posts. We need two posts on three out of seven days of the week. Okay, so get yourself organized, make a plan for your success, start early in the week, contact your instructor if you have any questions, be very proactive this week. As I said, there's lots to do, but you've got this, okay? Congrats on finishing up your first week. Let's jump in this week and have a good one. You take care, everybody. Have a great class. Bye.